Sometimes you don't want to stick to perfectly pronounced words when you're using Envoice. After all, singers often don't pronounce words very accurately themselves. For example, for a real singer, the word I can often be pronounced more like a, ah, and the letter G will often get dropped from words ending in ing. The Envoice dictionary caters for a few common mispronunciations like these. That's where you hate it if we it. So let's make this line sound a little more human. That's where you hate it if the way Envoice pronounces the phrase now is far more like a real singer would. That's where you hate it. To help make your Envoice One vocal lines sound as realistic as possible, this kind of stylization is key. Some words in Envoice have pronunciation options inbuilt. These are great for words that can be pronounced differently depending on accents or context. For instance, the word two has two pronunciation variations. From the words right click menu, you can preview these pronunciations by clicking each play button. Two, ta, ta finish. Remember, not every word has alternate pronunciation options in this right click menu. You can tweak pronunciation even further by programming phonemes, changing how a word is pronounced on the atomic level. You can edit phonemes and save the same words in your user dictionary for later. In a word's right-click menu, click the pencil icon. From here you can edit each phoneme separated by spaces. We'll edit the word what by changing the phoneme T to D. Now it sounds a little more natural in this context. After you're done editing a word, your custom pronunciation will be saved in your user dictionary and can be recalled at any time when you use that word again from its right-click menu. A complete list of phonemes can be found in the Envoice manual online or in the cheat sheet that you can access through the plugin menus. If you're confident with using phonemes, you can also type these directly into the text box to create any word you like. To type a word like this, use capital letters placed between chevrons. This is very useful for custom words that you don't want to add to the dictionary, single syllables of a whole word that you want to attach to separated notes, or even non-English words, as long as you can create them using English language phonemes. Just stick around, you know you want to. You might see a zero or a one spelt as part of a vowel sound. One denotes that a vowel is stressed, and zero that it isn't, although the difference is quite slight. You can still type vowels without this number, they'll just default to playing as stressed vowels. That's it for this video. For more ways to get better at using Envoice, check out our other videos and find the latest version of the manual on envoiceapp.com to see any new functions we've added since we made this video.